Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this uh, tutorial and overview of the rebranding of Blender Beam. A few days ago, uh, I published a video here on Blender 3D Architect explaining the reasons why Blender Beam needed a rebranding, and this process is finally finished. Meet Bonsai, this is the new name for Blender Beam. You can access uh, more details about the add-on and what it can do uh, visited, uh, visiting bonsaibeam.org and not sure everyone will agree with the name uh, but uh, there are a lot of a few benefits of choosing this specific name first they can keep the same logo it's start with a b and the domain name for bonsai beam was available so this is uh, this was a seamless process to register a new domain name now, one of the benefits of uh, getting rid of the name Blender as an add-on is that they are now part of the official extensions repository. If you search here for Bonsai, they are already here. This means you can easily install Bonsai the old Blender Beam now from the official repository. So let's take a look on how to get started with Bonsai in case you are not aware what Bonsai is, uh, what is the benefits uh, of using it. Let me first install. Oops, let me Bonsai. There we go. It's a quite big add-on in case you just expand it it's almost 100 megabytes in size it might take a while to blender to download it finally install let me see if it's enabled yes enabled and uh, one of the things that you should consider uh, when starting to use blender for architecture is to take a close look into bonsai why? Because it will turn and add bl and turn Blender into something that is uh, quite close to what we can do in uh, other softwares like Revit or ArchiCAD or uh, Bricks, uh, BricsCAD. It will add Beam, uh, Beam tools to Blender. What is Beam? For instance, when you create a wall here in Blender, just using standard tools, it's basically a mesh object that you will shape into the form of a wall. But when you are using beam tools, that wall will have a meaning. It's actually a wall. So you can extract data from that wall, like a volume area. Uh, you can interact with other beam tools like windows and doors. Let me create a project here so you can take a look into what uh, bonsai can do. As you can see, our sidebar here already looks different. We have lots of beam tools. You can create walls, doors, windows, uh, uh, structural elements. And here into file, I can create a new project. Let's say I want to create a new project using meters. You can also use millimeters or feet. And we have an option here with a, a demo project. This will load up some libraries if you want to get started. This is an easy way to get started. You can see that it's loading up a lot of stuff that you can use to test Blender Beam. Sorry, Blender Beam, no, Bonsai. And you can notice a few things, even with an empty project here, there is nothing on my scene. We already have a, a basic structure for a beam project. You have a site, you have a building, you have a story. Let's take a look on how to create a few things. First, we can start with something basic like a wall. Or you can go with the beam tool. If I expand it here, you can see that we have the from the beam tool. You can select lots of different classes and we can go with walls. From this wall, you have many different thickness for each one of the walls. And how do we create a wall here? If uh, we uh, were using something like a regular uh, vanilla blender, uh, if you will, uh, with uh, 
a cube that will be modeling into a wall. You have to extrude it, resize, extrude, extrude on the Z axis, start to uh, create a uh, reshape that cube, that polygon into something that looks like a wall. But uh, here we have a wall object. If I click here into add or press shift A, it will add an object that is a wall. You can see here that it's already a wall. It's using an IFC class uh, that, that behaves as a wall. And well, this wall is not using the exact same or not the dimensions that I need. It's uh, using uh, 3000 millimeters and uh, 1000 uh, millimeters as length. Let's imagine here that I want to use 5000. With the wall selected, I can press this button and it will resize. But a single wall is not enough for us to create a project. We need more walls. So I will enable here my snap with vertex and just like Blender, uh, just like regular Blender, you have to re reposition your 3D cursor to create another wall. Let me place it here. And if I click the button again, it will add another wall. But hey, we need to rotate this wall. We have a button here to rotate it 90 degrees. We have overlapping walls here, no problem. Select both walls, go into either butt or metry, and it will do, it will adjust that overlapping. But hey, this, those uh, two walls here need something like a door. Let's choose here another class. You can either use here the buttons for a door and window, or you can choose here from the beam tool. I will go with window. We have just one type of window, or let's go with door. Let's add a door. It's just one door. And I can choose here edge center. Let me place my 3D cursor here at the center of this edge. Select this wall and let me change it again to door. Press the add button and it will add a door. Of course, uh, bonsai, the previously known uh, previously uh, known as Blender Beam, has a lot more features. This is just a quick overview of what you can do with, uh, with the tool. Uh, one of the benefits of using uh, Bonsai and most Beam tools is that you can create documentation about this. You can create a floor plan. You can uh, start a section, elevations, and uh, many other uh, types of uh, the uh, documentations needed to uh, develop an architectural project. So this was a quick overview of Bonsai. If you have ever used Blender Beam in the past, know that uh, you have that uh, already available in the uh, official extensions uh, uh, repository of Blender. One thing that I'd like to keep in mind, because that's something that one architect once uh, pointed me, asked me about uh, Blender Beam at the time and now Bonsai, uh, is that a Bonsai is still in alpha. If you look here at the bottom uh, right of your screen, of my screen, you will see that we have a label for alpha. This is still in alpha. They are really close to get a more stable release or Blender Beam, so you can expect a few hiccups along the way, but in most part, it works just fine. So I hope you liked this uh, brief uh, overview and news about uh, the rebranding of Blender Beam as Bonsai. And if you liked the content, if you liked the uh, overview, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with more uh, news related to using Blender and open source software for design, architecture, engineering, and, uh, and more. See you next time. Bye.